Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here to share a flip through of the finished garden binder journal. And uh, so first of all, I thought I would share with you. I didn't do any more videos on the process because I, I kind of was all over my craft room, kind of back and forth, standing up in drawers, in the closet, you know, just hunting and, um, you know, looking for things I wanted to try to try not to repeat the pages if you know what I mean I want I didn't want to take like three books and three th or you know three or four things and repeat it throughout I wanted every page to be different so that's what I did this is a little pom-pom paper clip and I got a little bull dog clip there and then I have some trims which most of them you can't see they're on the pages and you'll see them as we flip through but I did put a little pom-pom trim there it just looks so pretty and this does have some purple in it that's why I picked the purple pom-pom right there several colors in here I looked for green I didn't have any green but I had the purple so I went with that it's the only I think that's the only pom-pom trim I have right now but uh yeah so uh before we get started I was going to show you what I'm talking about that I was all over my craft room and I'll just show you if you want me to do a separate video on a flip through of these books that I used in here I will be glad to just let me know but I'll try to show them and if you want to uh, pause the video and like get a good look at it just do that but um, I showed you the ones look at that first video and I showed you the paper or papers and the books so this is um, the books I used after that video I went but those used the ones I showed you and then I put those away and then I got all of these out because I wanted more. I didn't want to use, like I said, I just wanted, didn't want to use three books and repeat those pages over and over again. I want a different variety, a wide variety of pages. So this is what I used. The first one was trees. This is country flower dyeing. Field guide to wildflowers. I'm holding them uh, still a second so you can see the title, the cover, and maybe the author. So this is an old one. I doubt if this one's around very much, but uh, yeah, all of these I got at thrift stores, um, except for that field guide to flowers. I got that at thrift.com, thriftbooks.com. Everything else I got at my thrift stores. I don't order from there anymore. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I find plenty of books at my thrift store, so I don't have to order from there anymore. You know what I mean? So here's an ideals magazine oh that's just extra book page some children's books and these are children's books all of these right here birds this one I got from this one I got from Aaliyah my friend Aaliyah she has a channel if you haven't seen her I'll go over to Aaliyah de Pina and she uh, makes beautiful journals and does crafting like that too and I, we did a little trade where I saw her show this on her channel. And I said, I have to have it. And we did a little trade. I sent her a book and she sent me a book. Uh, this is another children's book. And here we are, back to this book. So that was quite a few books I dug out, right? And there's, you know, other things I dug out, like papers and things that I put away. Uh, the papers, I just left the books out because I wanted to try to show you real quick. So let's get started. <clears throat> so I did end up covering the front and the back because I covered the back first because there were some little spots, little tiny spots. It wasn't perfect. The front was not, was perfect. But when I saw how pretty the back was, I had to do the front too. <laughs> That's how it worked out. So um, here we start with some pretty, you know, this, this double-sided scrapbook paper. This is from, I think this was from my birthday card that my parents just sent me. And I took the brought up, there was a, you know, like a pop-up butterfly on there and I took it off and <laughs> there it is in this journal now and then this was a little kind of snippet fabric a strip that my friend a friend sent me in happy mail and uh it was a long it, I still have a lot of it anyway but I cut this little two pieces off like two sections and made a little tab here and there's a little metal kind of flower on there too to top it off and I thought that turned out really cute and we're going to try to do this pretty quick because there is a lot here so I didn't leave all the tabs in here, all the divider tabs. I couldn't. I tried. At first I did, and I was like, oh, this is getting way too fat. <laughs> I have to take some of these out. So I did. And um, I decorated. I didn't decorate any of the fronts because 
they have this awesome front. It's like very, this is 1954, so very 1950s, and I had to leave it because it was so cute. And I put a little something on the backs because a lot of the backs are, some of them are pictures, but some of them are just text. But I didn't, you see, I didn't cover anything up. I just put a little flower right here. And that was just to show, like, in case a person that gets this never, you know, had a junk journal before, this is kind of jumping and jumping off point. Like, this is what you can do, you know, start here and then do, do something else if you want to. So, so that's why I did that. Anyway, here's a pocket. I've got a little pink ticket here, and I think I showed you this in my first video on this. I'll link the first video on this uh, journal below so you can see what I talked about in that one if you haven't seen it. But this was a piece of uh, packaging, really cool packaging, that I turned into this awesome little <laughs> journaling spot. And this is a belly band and a little journaling card that was, is a re um, this is a recipe card. Yeah, so that is in that pocket. There is some sewing throughout. I sewed all the pockets. Here's some little cutoffs on this paper clip here. There's a few pages uh, from this, you know, garden book. So that's one of those there. This is the garden diary I showed in the first video. This is just a bird book, which I don't have out now, but I didn't, didn't show it to you just now. I just have our had that page left out from another project and I decided to use it in here. This is an awesome piece of um, ledger with a several different colored lines here. There's purple, turquoise, red, black, really cool colors. And um, it is written on, if in case you've never dealt with that before, you can just put something right on top of there. <laughs> use that as a background, but I left it whole. It was, uh, it's one of those long, long ledgers like, or wide ledger, ledgers like that. So I, folded it up and didn't cut it off. Here's some tr uh, grow grain trim I uh, sewed on this page. I wanted to use a few matching trims in here. Here's a little playing card that match, you know, garden theme. This is the book that I um, got from Aaliyah. That's a page from that. This is this book. I did make a po couple of pockets like this out of one-sided, perfect use of, you know, one-sided scrapbook paper. You've got the white inside and then you have the pretty colors on both sides that's sewn together and this is a pocket in in that pocket i've got a couple of um these are those index cards that you can color on if you've never seen those before um they're they're pretty cool and you can do whatever you can paint on them color on them use uh, colored pencils and this is a page from that other double page um garden book i just cut one of the pages off and sewed it on here as the pocket and this is one of those bit large uh, divider cards with a tab. So that is in there. There's another pocket in a pocket there. And you've got your little tab you can grab. This is a little uh, two pocket, uh, you know, one of these little plastic pockets. And the, these are actually cook, you know, recipe cards that came with the pocket when I got them. Most of the, you know, my things I get from thrift stores. So. Uh, this came in here and I, when I took out the pocket, I was going to take these out. I was like, oh my goodness, there's vegetables and fruits and flowers on here. So I left them in there. It was perfect for a garden journal, right? And then this is a page from this garden book. Uh, this is one of the, oh, this is one of my bunny books. Oh, Peter Rabbit I had out where I did my bunny journal re recently. And this is um, the guy, the garden garden guy. Well, I don't know what his name is, Mr. McGregor or something. And he um, he he's in his garden here, and I thought that was so cute to put in here. And here's here he is chasing Peter. And so yeah, that page is in there just as a cute page. I think it has a little right a crayon mark or something there, but you know it's so cute. I, it doesn't matter. So a page from this book and some pretty scrapbook. Oh, here's a little card, playing card. I like to put different size things in here for fun too. And then you can always take those out and use them wherever you want. And then here's a little inside pocket here where this is one of the accordion, uh, you know, little accordion folders that I made for Rock Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And if you saw that video, that's what this is. And it's a little flowery one. So I put it in here and there's some goodies in there. And then here's a guest check that's been stamped on there. So that is in there for writing room. And you can always glue that down somewhere if you want to cover something out, up that uh, you know you want to write on. This is a beautiful page from this book. I love this one. So I left it in here. I just like this graphic here. And then here's an Edith Holden page. 
Uh, this page is from one of those books I showed you uh, today. And I sewed some. This is fabric, like vintage fabric trim that I picked up at a thrift store. This is not fabric trim that I made. It's um, fabric trim. I, I don't have it out anymore. I would show you. But it was so pretty. And I went with this. It's got a lot of yellow and green. So I put it on this page. And uh, it's wrapped around both sides and sewn down. This is ledger. That A lot of the pages that were... You know, I tried to leave the pages whole so that whoever gets this, they can leave them whole like this. Or they can go and cut them off and have extra paper, you know, to use in here. This is a divider page where I put your garden angel, little garden angel charm here. So that's on that page. And on the back I have a little uh, yellow, like, I don't think it's a sunflower, but uh, some type of little flower here that... Uh, to decorate see this had pretty pictures on that I didn't want to or I should say cool graphics that um, didn't want to cover up here's a pocket outside tuck spot here with a bookmark and or a slash tag and some papers also that can be you know put down somewhere if you want to make a writing spot you can always do that and make a right writing spot anywhere in here so I, that's why I put those in there <clears throat> But they, you can use them however you wish. So here's some graph paper, again, with the fold-out uh, page from this book. And then there, this is beautiful right here, isn't it? Uh, some little little different size pages. And here's a scrap I paper clipped with a vintage paper clip there, green. Here's some little tags that I had made from... These are paint chips, and this one had has apples, and this one has oranges. And there's one more here that's just green. So I just... Um, kind of punch those and put them right there for fun pretty page from this book a little journaling card there and uh, this is a page from one of the books I just showed you this is uh, from a like a smash book uh, journal card set if you've ever seen those are little booklets that come with all these little papers and so I just punched one in there for fun this is one of the dividers where I put on see I didn't want to cover up the completely the pages or the dividers like I said so I just sewed this on a little made a little like a little fold over hinge there sewed it on and I did add a little flower here too so you still get to see the original page and you have your little Edith Holden fold out this is a belly band here and then this is a folder made from that double garden page garden binder <laughs> and I cut it you know in half and made this little envelope and this is just a little photo in here that I think those are fun. So I put one in here. And it is tight, but it does fit in there. And I just kind of hang it over the little belly band there. And then some more pretty pages. Let's see, this is from... Oh, this is a calendar. Yeah, I didn't show you this, but um, I found this calendar in my closet. <clears throat> and it was perfect. It had beautiful flowers on it. So here's the beautiful flowery side, and then here's the calendar side where you can write in the little squares or do whatever you want there. And I just have a lot of fun vintage papers and some new, some old, whatever I get from thrift store. So this is one of those. It says newsletter here, so I thought that was fun. This is a card that I had in my stash, just recycling a pretty flowery card here. And it had this pretty yellow background too, so on the back, so that worked out well to go with the colors here pretty page from this book and some scrapbook paper here and it folds out and goes very well with this page that is next but I have a little florist vintage florist cards down there and this is a scrap that I made into like a just a little journaling card and the next page is here I kept together there's two pages here from one of those books I just showed you and so it goes like this and it opens up like that where it has the planting zones. So I thought that was cool <laughs> and pretty. This is like a kind of a, what is it? Application for credit that I got from a thrift store, a whole pad of these, but what I like about it is the colors. And I left it whole. So you have the whole yellow, uh, you know, solid color here. And then you have the yellow and green lines on this side. This is a time card. And then page from this book. And here's a pretty little pocket here. This is just a piece of ephemera from, it's very old. It's probably from the early 1900s. It really doesn't have a date on this one, but I have some of these that do have a date, but I believe they were from 
the early 1900s, and it's uh, Norfolk and Western Railroad, Co Railroad Co Railway Company uh, there. So just a piece of old ephemera, little flower there, and just some more pages from the books I showed you. This is from an old address book I have, and I love this, uh, that's the lines and just the whole look of it. And <laughs> lines on both sides. That's F and G, so. <laughs> um, page from one of the books I showed you. I did put some daisy trim here. That's sewn on. Page from this book. Here's another divider with a charm. This one has a rainbow. And the big mushroom on the back there. So pretty. Love mushrooms. And then a uh, page here. See, I tried not to cut, I tried not to make too many scraps <laughs> and I just folded pages over so I wouldn't have to cut, you know, cut it, cut it or make scraps. Here's a guest check for writing space. Pretty page here. This is a seed packet and I do plan on doing a video where I decorate some of these. I received these from not too far back now from my friend V and, um, I haven't been able to have time to do my video decorating, but I want to put a couple in here. So I did because it's seed, you know, has to do with seed uh, gardening, things like that. And I, so I just put holes in the flap here so it could be in here as uh, so somewhere to put something and write writing space if somebody wanted. I'll put a couple things in here. That's why I have this little pile because I knew I had a couple of envelopes in here where I haven't put anything in yet. So I'll put those in there, put two things in there. This is an old pad of paper I have, and you know you can see it's, uh, you know, browning and you know age. So I just think that's fun. Here's a page bird from the bird book, um, the garden diary, this book. Um, this is some wallpaper. I put a couple pieces, of, two or three pieces of this because it's so awesome. But here you have the pretty side, and then here you can decorate and do whatever because it's thick, nice and thick. You can paint, do whatever with that. Um, this is from the herb book, one of the ones I just showed you. This is just some pretty paper that is, let's see, where does it fold out? Back here, that I received from Maria, and uh, it matches this next page, if you see the colors here. So pretty. That worked out very well. <laughs> and that's my Ideals Magazine page that I pulled out, one page, with the pretty, pretty flower there and the little... In, it's in the wild uh, forest, it looks like, so that's really pretty. This book right here, I love this chart. That's why I kept these two together. There's a pretty chart here with all these colors, and I kept that those together. Here's another seed packet. This one has the window, so I'll put um, a couple of journaling cards. put three journaling cards. I think I have a couple more envelopes I need to stuff in here, too, so... Uh, but I put a couple of, I put three um, Rolodex, vintage Rolodex cards in there. And let's see, this is another fold-out scrapbook paper. And on the top here, or this side, I have another florist card. Florist card. They're both different, sewn on. And this is a pretty card I received from Maria. And I'll link her channel below, too. I'll link Maria and, uh, and uh, Aaliyah. So you can go and check out their channels in case, just in case you're not subscribed to them. This is a pretty page from a book that, uh, I, I did not show you this one today. I just had, I think I already used the book for something else and I had these pages extra. This is just a piece of um, paper cardstock that I thought was cool and would be fun to use. You've got all of this room here and it's a nice neutral color and not, it's not white, but it's a neutral color. And then you have all this kind of chart here to have fun with. Uh, this is from this, and this is just a piece from a traveler's notebook that says it has like a fruit here. It looks like maybe tomatoes or something, <laughs> but I just thought that was fun. This is that double, you know, double page garden book, so there is a whole page there. This is another belly band where I have a plant card that I sewed a ledger paper on the back for writing space. So that's a big journaling card. And then this book. The Garden Diary. I'm going to go a little quick so I can make sure my camera doesn't run out on me. Uh, this is a page from one of the books I showed you. Pretty gardeny, flowery page. A divider. Where on this, on the back of this one, I have a seed packet. This is a I got this at an estate sale from someone that had saved all their seed packets, and there were actually seeds in some of them. And I dumped out all the seeds and just am using the seed packets. But in here, it's like a double pocket. I have a little kind of journaling card there. 
that I received in Happy Mail, and this one too, I received uh, from somewhere, and added this little twine here. So it's a little little tag that is in the seed pot, seed packet pocket. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. <laughs> and this is some uh, really cool, which I've been hoarding. I'll confess, uh, unused seed packets, and they're I think they're pretty old. I don't know if they have a date on them. I don't think so. But they were never used they were never even put together so i put it in here like this i punched holes here in this little flap and just folded this over because it was like this when i received it flat out like that so i just folded this over and made it into a page and then you have your little fold out in all kinds of writing space or you can take it out and fold it up and make a seed packet out of it and glue it together so that's just a fun thing right so um, I'm going to go a little quicker on the pages you recognize because I've described all the pages now. This is the pom-pom pa page. This is sewn on and a page from one of the books that I showed you today. And here's, a, oh, here's another envelope. I just put some envelopes in here that were pretty and matched the journal here. So let's put a couple things in there. Uh, this is some little address book pages and a little tab divider there this is a little card I put a couple of cards in here I kept I took it I cut it apart but I kept it together I just cut it apart so it flip so it would flip nice but it's a pretty flowery card so lots of writing room this is some really cool like almost like onion skinny type uh, paper but it's stationary so I put a piece in here because of the color and how pretty it was and here's the envelope that goes with it and then here's a big, one of those giant index cards. I put a little tab. It's two layers with a little mushroom on a ticket. I folded the ticket, two tickets around it, and used a scrap under there and made that kind of in a ticket shape too. So it's a double little uh, tab there in the side pocket, which, you know, all the ta all the little pockets and tuck spots like that are sewn around. Here's some more of that wallpaper. And this is another little page here from the uh, Edith Holden Garden Notes book, which I showed you in the first video. This is uh, some trim that I had that uh, I just folded it over and sewed it down. It's so pretty. It has even has lace on the edge. It's like fabric ribbon, but it already had this lace on it. And I made a straight stitch down here so I didn't cover any of it up. I didn't want to use even want to use zigzag stitching on it because I didn't want to cover it up. It's so pretty. Another divider. The back of this one, I have a little bunny. And just some pretty, here's a coaster with birds on it. <laughs> here's a little tuck spot. I've got a heart here and one of the plant cards with ledger paper on it. And what is this flip flip? I should check my time, but I don't even want to take time to do that. Here's a vintage 1985 calendar page. Another pocket, and I have a pocket in a pocket again. And this one I have some extra index cards, the colored ones, to have fun with. And this turned out so cute. I love that. <laughs> Good use for those index cards, right? And oh, here's some pretty ledger. This is green graph on this side, and then it has like no, it looks like notebook paper on the back. Another uh, divider card. This one I put a little pocket. It has a clover, four-leaf clover. It says good luck, and I have a, a tag in the pocket. Here's a pocket here. I've got a rusty heart there, and I showed you this in my in my first video too, with this little uh, writing spot here on this old vintage uh, slide out chart that I've turned into a journaling spot. <laughs> Some cutoffs here in the bulldog clip, and a little flash card. Those are I think those are pretty old. Those flash cards. They don't look that old, but they, I think they are kind of old. They could, they're probably vintage. Got them at a thrift store, of course. This I uh, received in Happy Mail from Dale McBay at Not Too Shabby Chic. I'll link her channel. I'll try to remember to link all these channels. <laughs> Got my work cut out for me, don't I? Um, but this journal was so much fun. I just love making binder journals and just love putting all the variety of pages in here. So here's the uh, divider page. We've got two more, I think. Yeah, this is... Uh, one and two one more after this but here's a little uh this one has a little owl charm on it i put those in with um, eyelets they all have an eyelet in the uh, little tab here with a with the charm here's a little kind of up tuck here with a, it's a little journaling card and it has a little bookmark in there 
some just some pretty papers, another flashcard, more wallpaper. I really like the wallpaper, and I had that piece out, so I put three pages of that. Here's some uh, bird, and uh, you know this looks like it's from the tree book, and this is from another book about butterflies. Edith Holden here, where I didn't cover up the page again. I just did a little sewing here, and then you can see the original page. Oh, I wanted to show you something. Hold on. Where is it? Is it? I didn't show you. I wanted to point it out because it was so cool. Uh, gosh, now I don't see it. I wonder if it didn't make the... I mean, I remember it might have not made the cut. Or, <laughs> or got, Oh, here it is. In the pest section. I didn't point this out. So this is the pest section. It says pest right there. I put the bunny here on purpose because bunnies can be a pest in your garden, right? So I put a little bunny there. And I put this page here too on purpose because it has all the caterpillars and bugs that you see in a garden. So that's why it's uh, it all goes together in the pest section. <laughs> I forgot to point that out, but I just thought that was fun. I saw that and was like, oh, where's that? I knew it had a pest section in here. I was like, I have to put that page in the pest section. <laughs> so here we are, we're finishing up. Uh, page from this book. We've still got the little pusher here. It's got the little plastic piece in here. I mean, this book was in pretty much perfect condition, really. Uh, and here's the last page where it is a fold out. Got a little, I sewed on this, this pretty uh, tag and put two little gardeny, very old. I'm guessing this one's from the 70s and this is early 1900s postcards in here. So that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, I didn't put all my stuff in here. Well, I've got a goodie bag all ready to go. A little green one to go with the garden theme. Extra papers for you, some ledger, some graph. And I didn't put any coffee dyed paper in here, but I have a piece here for you. And then I'll put these in a goodie bag too, now that I haven't. Oh, and this is a little special thing. Let me show you, I've been hoarding these too. The story of Bunny Edmund. I don't know what these are, like, you know, who who's ever seen this before? It has a little advertisement here. They're very cool and I haven't used any of them. And you know, we're all trying to use, look at this. It's so cool, and so that's a special little gift for me to make myself stop hoarding them. <laughs> I put one in here for you. So all of that, and you've got a bunch of goodies in here, cutoffs and whatever. i got a little, uh, little thing of paper pun punches. Oh, there's some, there's all, oh, there's some lace. I put all kinds of stuff in here. So, and then you have the green bag, too, to have fun with. So all of the goodies are ready to go. It's all ready to go. It'll be in my shop by the time you see this, so... Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I have I totally enjoyed making this and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting.